Hi, I'm Craig Smith, Corporate Executive Chef of the Montague Company. Welcome to our training. What we want to do today is take a little of the mystery out of how the steakhouse broiler works. We've had quite a few calls and emails from you, our customers, asking particular questions. So we'll just run through the process and we'll try to take the mystery out of cooking on the Montague Steakhouse Broiler. If you notice on the top here, we have a beautiful porterhouse steak just searing away on top of the sear plate. The purpose of this is once the broiler is up to temperature, and I must tell you, it takes about 30 to 40 minutes to bring it up to temperature to get the 600 degree Fahrenheit in the center of the sear plate. But the purpose of this is to get a beautiful caramelization on the protein, whether it be a beef product, a pork product, a chicken product, and even a seafood product. We want to get the protein seared to maintain the juices inside the meat so you don't get a lot of blood on the plate when somebody cuts into it. Let me turn this over for you so you can see the other side. You notice how we have a sizzle here. We can put steaks all the way across here. We can put uh, portions of steak and chicken. We can do a lot of different things with it. While we're waiting for this to sear, I'd like to point out a few other features on the Montague Steakhouse Broiler. Notice we have a beautiful red glow here. That's because with the Montague Radiglow Broiler System, this is an infrared heat. There's two types of broilers. There's an underfired broiler and an overfired broiler. This is an infrared overfired broiler. And it's going to give us perfect harmony of heat so the outside of the steak is perfectly caramelized and the inside is succulent and juicy the way your customers like it. A couple other things while we're talking about the sear plate I'd like to show you is you notice we have a drip tray. This drip tray goes on and off very easily. It's designed that we can empty it during service time or at the end of the evening. It's very simple to clean. To put it back on, we just place it back on the broiler and it sits there just like so. So any of the residual fats and oils from the proteins that uh, are, are being exuded from the product, they go naturally to that area. At the end of the evening, we just take a grill uh, spatula scrape this down, wipe it down with some uh, soft cloth and oil, and we're ready to go for the next day. Look at that beautiful steak. Now let's talk about what we do when we actually put it in the infrared broiler. You notice that the drawer moves in and out very carefully, and you see a little uh, spattering of the color there. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. I like to keep one side on wide open, Notice that the valves are straight up and down at 90 degrees for wide open. And then on the other side, we can turn it down slightly. What this allows us to do as professional cooks and chefs is one side is going to be for rare, medium rare to medium. And on the other side, if we chose to do this, we could move this over here. We have about a 250 to 300 degree difference in temperature, and we can actually cook our medium or medium well to wells on this side and the outside won't be quite as dark as it would be if we left it on the wide open burner. We can also adjust the shelf up and down. If we have a thinner cut of steak, we can cook closer to the burner itself. If we have a thicker cut of steak, we want to drop it down on low. Most chefs, they find after they work on here for uh, a day or so, they uh, usually put it right in the center and uh, they adjust their heat from one side to the other. This is set up for a left-handed person, but if you're right-handed, you could do it just the opposite. It's very simple. The drawer goes in and out very carefully, moves back in, and that really is all there is to it. At the end of the process, you'll notice that we have a drip tray in the front here. Any of those fats and oils that are being uh, melted from the meat itself are going to come down the drip tray and right into this receptacle. The idea is that again we don't have to worry about anything getting on the floor on top of the chef's uniform. You don't get dirty. It's a very clean operation, very simple to use and hopefully 
in the cooking process, we just took some of that mystery out of there. Look at that steak. Is that just about as beautiful as you'd want to have a steak in front of your customer? Now, I know that there's going to be more questions down the road. And I also want you to know that you can call me personally, Craig Smith, the corporate chef for the Montague Company, or call any of the wonderful people on our sales staff, in tech support, and in customer care. We want you to know that we care about how you use this equipment, and we want you to know that you can get a hold of us at any time to answer those questions. So I look forward to meeting you personally in the future, and I sincerely hope that this training today has been some benefit and good use for you and your food service operation. Thanks for sticking with Montague. I hope you found today's training on the Montague Steakhouse Broiler informative. We tried to answer the questions that have been most commonly asked about the Steakhouse Broiler. But remember, you, our customer, is so important to the Montague Company. Please feel free to call me personally or anyone on the staff of the Montague Company. We're always here to help you, our customer. Have a great day.